Hi guys, it's Laura with Laura's Craft uh, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So today I'm planning to work on Easter decoration and I have three different ideas and techniques on how to decorate eggs for Easter. If you're enjoying creating your own seasonal home decor, please hit that subscribe button and you will never miss a free tutorial. So guys, make your favorite drink, sit back and enjoy the video. first project is pretty much simple. What I'm going to do is dressing up those um, eggs and feathers. Starting from the top of the egg, I'm placing on my first feather uh, with the tip facing upwards, um, then placing the second uh, one next to the first um, and I'm not trying to overlap them and I'm continuing till the first row is covered. For the second row, I'm overlapping only where the grey starts um, and uh, leaving the tip um, of the feather shown. We only want to show those beautiful patterns of the feathers and keep continuous until it's completely covered. So now I'm going to pull out my holder, actually this is a thread spool and I'm going to apply a dark wax. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these paper eggs holders which I already cut it out uh, to the thread spool and then I'm going to put a combination of moss inside just kind of creating like a small nest Embellishing with a bow and vintage key. Actually, 
actually I changed my mind instead of the key I'm adding a tag with a wooden button I mix those two colors together and I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint a couple of coats. So next I'm using mold and air dry modeling clay which I bought from Amazon. So if you don't have access to Amazon, you can buy anywhere in the craft shops or art supply stores. So I'm directly pushing the clay into the mold by scraping off the excess and then gently removing and gluing on the eggs with a PVA glue. I'm going to take 10 millimeter knot and glue to the bottom of the egg and then to the spooler and then I'm painting over. Once the painting was dry, I placed a rubber on transfer. I love them. It is very easy to work with and looks beautiful. So next I'm applying a dark wax uh, just to give uh, that age vintage look.
for embellishments I'm going to use um, some greenery and flowers. This is the final project and I'm already painted in same blue color and to distress the surface I'm going to use a candle rubbing into those places where I want them to look distressed basically everywhere but you guys um, kind of play around with it and see what you prefer and for the top coat I'm going to use a dark brown acrylic paint and I'm going to paint right over the top The top coat is completely dry and uh, with a cloth I'm rubbing off So next I'm attaching paper egg holder, filling with moss and feathers, embellishing with bow.
I hope you like all of the projects that I came up with today. Leave me in the comment which project was your favorite. Please give this video a thumbs up. So thank you guys for watching and see you next time.